According to State Department's report, while the responsibility for enforcing the law lies with the Social Protection Ministry, the ministry is hampered not only by a lack of inspectors, but also insufficient penalties for violations. After carrying out various labor inspections, the department added that the ministry follow-up of labor inspection findings varied and compliance among employers was also inconsistent and the enforcement of minimum wage legislations was not effective. The report further added that many organizations reported that the Social Protection Ministry lacks sufficient resources to enforce occupational safety and health laws adequately. They said, and I quote, the government reported 189 workplace accidents, of which 102 were investigated. There were 18 fatal workplace accidents reported as of October. End quote. Speaking to minimum wage, a finding of the State Department was that the enforcement of the minimum wage legislation was not as robust as it should have been. Also, it was stated that other provisions are for a normal work week of 40 hours distributed over more than five days per week. The Federation of Independent Trade Unions of Guyana, commenting on this situation, has also said that a number of qualified staff had left the department over the years for various reasons. Reporting for the Evening News, I'm Luanda McAllister.